So now to do the bat stuff. Uh, that's going to live in the in a ROP network. So let's make one here. Uh, make sure you have Side Effects Labs stuff downloaded already. Go to your Side Effects Labs tool, be uh, tool belt, tool shelf, and uh, actually update it or install it or whatever. Assuming you have it, run in here and start typing Labs Vertex Animation Textures. So what do we got? Uh, we got different kinds. Again, I can't, there's just too much stuff in here. Watch Simon's series of tutorials for more of a breakdown, but uh, I'll go over the ones that are essential to this. So first of all, I actually kind of want to start with the soft body deformation, which will be the, the metal. So we set it to that. Um, we set the actual input geometry to the metal. The frame range is here. Um, everything else is, is good. So there's the target texture width. That is good as well. There's a whole bunch of requirements of what you can and can't have as attributes. The main thing you need is, of course, is just point positions. Um, where are we going to export it to? I'm going to export it to OS here, so which is going to be the name of this node. So I'm going to call this VAT Metal. So it's going to be where the hip file is in a subdirectory export, and then VAT Metal. And it's also just going to be called VAT Metal. Uh, we don't need to include um, colors. There's no like point colors that I care about exporting. So I'm just going to say geometry, uh, positions, and rotation. So geometry means the geometry at rest, and then the actual textures themselves move them. So it's going to be an FBX file, a new FBX file, not the one that I imported before, but a new one, basically at the start frame of your export. And then your textures will store rotations and offsets to the new positions on every given frame. And that's really all I care to do here. So I'm going to say render. This will take a minute. Cool. And so we can go back to the settings thing here. You can see the actual the texture ended up being 1024 by 1104. Would have been nice if it was within 1024 by 1024, but it's fine. Unreal will not have a problem with that. Sweet. So now I'm going to do the one for the glass. So this one I'm going to call that glass. This one will be rigid by dynamics. So that one is correct. And let's also just fly over to here. Um, do this one also as a dollar sign OS. And we'll also do the just position rotation for this one as well. Cool. So input, this one, as you would expect, is the glass. And it complains. It's complaining. It says it needs a pivot and orient. So the pivot is what it sounds like. It's the point at the center of the rigid. And the orient is the rotation around that point. Now, here's the thing. You can get. Uh, so if we look at the output of this, um, even if we looked at the, let's say, simulation piece output here, this is the actual proxy geometry out. You know, there is no pivot or orient. You can go here, go to advanced output, and put pivot and orient. And it will have it. The problem is, is that it's not really correct. It's mostly correct, but it's not completely correct. Um, if you look at the Orient, I suspect this will be fixed pretty soon because I've raised this to them, but you know, this 0001 basically just means that there is no rotation, which is fine. That makes sense because it's on the first frame. The problem is, is that there is a rotation. We rotated this 180 degrees to get to here. So this will cause a problem um, unless we reconstruct this ourselves because uh, the train will basically, it, yeah, you get it. It should have a rotation and it doesn't. Let's just leave it at that for now. No big deal though, let's just make it. Uh, obviously the pieces ha are rotated, they have been moved into the new position by the simulation. That information is stored uh, in a different attribute. Basically let's create our own orient. So P at orient will make a uh, four uh, valued vector, which is what orient is, as you saw with 0001 a minute ago. What I wanna do is 
Oh, there's a a Pladudini trademark siren going on outside. Anyway, uh, we want to make a quaternion, which is what Orient is. So it's a quaternion. What is it based off of? Well, it's based off of a 3x3 three three matrix. You don't need to know this. I'm sorry that I have to do this at all. Don't even worry really about it. But you will need to do it until this is fixed. Prim intrinsic. So now we're really getting into the weeds down here. From this geometry, the transform, which is again the 3x3 three three rotation matrix, blah, blah, blah. And then for this one, point number. So the, the one we're currently iterating on. One parentheses, two parentheses, three parentheses, semicolon. And while we're here, we might as well get the pivot in the same way. So prim intrinsic, just in case it's different from the sim one, it, you know, in terms of this orient value. Um, same thing, zero, pivot. Not gonna get into this too much, but there you go. We've created the two attributes that we need. If I were to look at it now, you would see that they're not all the same. You can see how it's 0, 1, 0, 0, and some are 0, 0, 0, 1. Basically, that's the difference between it being rotated 0 degrees and 180 degrees, which is the correct uh, orientations. So now, it goes away. It's happy. I'm happy. You're happy. Render them all to disk.